Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys backcountry. Uh, we're doing another prospecting run. Uh, this one is specifically to target this island. Uh, this is Big Spanish Key. And it's probably one of the farthest, I think it's the last island on the northeast corner uh, before you go out to just wide open Gulf and Texas and the Everglades that way. Um, the other thing I did is I took an alternate route out here because I wanted to check some new flats area. Found some beautiful, beautiful flats bottom. Unfortunately, it's miles and miles and miles of beautiful flats bottom. So that is actually a problem because it's hard to isolate bonefish and permit when there's so much expansive grounds. Uh, but we'll have to see. The other thing I'm doing out here is uh, preparing for the uh, winter fishery, which will be the sea trout. Uh, once we start getting those north winds pushing down that cold air it'll also push the sea trout in this area so what i'm looking for here is um areas in about three to ten foot with this really healthy uh green bottom grassy bottoms there but also for um, some broken bottoms so uh big sand patches white sand patches broken bottom uh, even like drop off so it could be a fairly deep area but then there's a channel inside there so it creates a drop off or just a, a basin something like that uh, they tend to like to shore up so uh, I'll be spending time looking for that as well but uh, otherwise yeah should be an inter interesting day yeah see like this is that uh, first cut here it's got a deep uh, undercuts pretty deep water the tides kind of up uh, but you have these nice built-in cut-ins there I guarantee something will be in that corner over there. Uh, but really to do these, these are work the shoreline casting underneath, casting, casting. I'm not really interested in doing that today. So I'm just gonna, yeah, signs of life already. So I'm just gonna cruise around the whole island first. If I see anything in particularly nice, like over there, I might throw a couple times, but other than that, we're just gonna hit and run. Hard to see, there's a ginormous cuda there this shark there and there's a school of mullet that's what's pushing out there that's what this guy came to swim through get out of here yeah there's the mullet there so lots of lots of life here there's a crab pot for a chuck see that's kind of weird that color change i don't know how it why it's doing that it's like clean water, dirty water. But I think this must be uh, all the dead turtle grass built up. And then it's clean pockets over here. I assume. Yeah, it's just open hard bottom. Interesting. We'll keep following the shoreline. I want to look in those corner pockets there, inside there. Look for any movement. Yeah, there's a cut right there that looks good. There's a cut through over here. See what that looks like. Uh, Kuda sitting there, waiting to ambush. Yeah, it just goes right through there. Lots of needlefish. Uh, more needlefish, more needlefish. This is the needlefish section. Get on up in there. Ooh, look at all the pilchards. Bingo. Look at all the pilchards. <laughs> nice. Oh, guys are lucky I'm not look, looking for you. Got mullet. Man, where's the predators at? They're probably uh, nice snappers. Nice snappers. Ah, okay, this cuts right through over there. All right, that is why. So this is the northeast side that's heading to the Panhandle, the Everglades, Texas. So we're just cruising along this outside north side and seeing what we see. Jumbo pilchards there. Those I might stop and get. We'll see how it goes. I could do some chumming if I find a nice inlet like over here. 
So this is that uh, cut that we went and checked out on the other side there. Usually stuff hanging around here should be at least, but it kind of goes through pretty far, so we'll check it out. Water level's moderately high, so fish can get in pretty deep, but I'd still assume I would see, see stuff along these edges. Got a bunch of finger mullet there, big school of them there. Got to be biggie fishy with that so much food around here. All right, I could see that basin right through there, so it's just this little bit is blocking it. But yeah, not seeing too much, just tons of bait here as well. There was more mangroves on that side because that was the incoming. It's better to sit at the head of the table and get the food first than the back side. And it's all full of pilchards on the inside there. And I'm just going to take a little run to the north here, see what the bottom structure looks like. Nice healthy seagrass. Alright, ran into my first tarpon. There they are. That was the first living thing actual sports fish I've done and I'm almost around to the 360 so well, at least I know those guys are there now that I've seen those tarp in here I'm gonna take some time and take a look around see if I could figure out why they're here or if they were just cruising this shoreline it is kind of on an edge here and then that I think is an inlet so that's probably a good reason but I don't see any bait around here See one there, he's going inside. Oh, two of them. These are different ones, these are smaller ones. There they are. Yep, I'm just a bush. You can take shelter underneath me. Huh, so. No, maybe they are the same ones. There's three of them. They're still hanging around here, so this is their spot. So if I go back, get some pilchards. Oh, there's bait here, that's why. Oh, three more. No, there's a this is just a spot oh four of them five of them six of them don't mind me oh, oh like it's a continual train of them are they gonna stop Any more coming? <laughs> Alright, so that's why I heard a little gulp over here inside this corner and then oh they're going right back in. Alright, so what we need is some I bet you some pilchards. Get them fired up. And now we know this corner is kind of like a home zone for them. I can see them in those tree oh don't twist don't twist don't twist let go oh no hooked on that little branch oh that's gonna scare him there it goes they're not freaking out they're just oh, right into another tree I want to try to just back out of here without spooking them out so I can come back. Yeah, there's all these pilchers there. I can get bigger ones and make them happy. They're all right back in there again. Oh, I'm right back in the freaking trees. Three cast, three, and they're right below me here. This is exactly what I didn't want to do. I wanted to get away from them so I don't scare them away from here. Of course. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Perfect cast right on them. I got to try to get away from you guys so you can... Oh. What hit it? Something ate it.
Oh, shark. Dang. <laughs> I got to get out of here. Let me leave. Go get some pilchers and I'll come back. I'm literally boxed in here with tarpon. Look at all of them down there. And they're all around me. There's another school right back here. I just can't, I'm trying to drift out of here. I don't want to spook them, but I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I will be back though, guaranteed. All right, we're back where we started from, this little bay here, that little pocket with all the mullet and cuda. But uh, that is exactly the reason why I want to do these prospecting trips. Uh, and even do that before I start fishing this island is I found that pocket of 50 uh, juvenile tarp in there. And that's pretty massive since I didn't really see much of anything else. So uh, now I know where the baits are. I know a spots where the, the mangrove snappers are. I know locations where the mullet are, um, the pilchard spots, and then now where those uh, bunch of juvenile tarpon are. Now I can't guarantee a month from now they'll be there, but they're there for a reason and they kept going back for a reason. So it might be a spot that they're always there um, at this kind of height of a uh, water uh, level. Oh, there's a mullet there. But they're basically directly on that side of this. So it's the water going through the trees here and out that side. So maybe they're sucking up all the food that's coming through there. But uh, now I think we're going to try to play with those tarpon. I'm going to get some pilchards, maybe some mullet, and then just feed them and have some fun with them. See, here's that uh, school of pilchards. I can net these. They're kind of small though, but I think they'll work. Especially I'm just going to use them for chummers. That'll save some time rather than going to the other side where the bigger ones were. All right, I found some bigger pilchards over here, so I'm going to get around stop get everything ready and then net those so have some good chummers okay here's some i can throw on them real quick they look like good size oh getting kind of far away from them uh oh i might have threw past them oh no i got some I don't know if they're the big ones I got. Yeah, definitely got some though. Oh. Yep, definitely got some. Oh. We are overbaited. All right. Let's go feed those tarpon. And right, we're back to our spot here. I think they were over there more. Or was it here? Yeah, kind of dumps into a little deeper spot. Let's get in a little closer. I'm going to drop anchor. Start throwing some pilchards out. See if we can get them excited. If they're still here, they could have moved on. there let's start pitching them out they were right inside there but who knows where they were sitting let's get some of these guys out lesson them There's one there. So they're here. Is he eating or where'd he go? I want 50, not just one. I'll throw some over there. See, there he is. He's like, what's all the commotion about? Hey, I don't know you, stranger danger. He's there and he's eating. He's all happy. I can see a pilchard just chomping on it. You know, 
Jackpot! Hit the jackpot. And then sneaking up around here. That tide is dropping super fast, so they could have skedaddled out of here or around the corner or somewhere else. And he might be the only one. All right, see, he's still chasing down all those pilchers. I'm gonna see if I can throw this plastic out there. I bet you he'll eat it. Oh, there he is. Even though it's just a tail because he's eating those dead ones. Oh, he sees it, come on. Oh, he's going after it. He's got it. There we go. <laughs> he's like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get them feeding and whoa get them feeding and they be dumb young and dumb <laughs> that's with that uh, fluke with the tail that was bit off I'm hoping that the vibrations would bring his other buddies around oh oh Mess around too much. Get this my bait. All right, buddy. I'm gonna let you go here. I don't know what happened to your friends. They might have cut in there, so we might go run through. Oh. All right. Enough. Stop. 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 Oh, lost my fluke. Dang it, it popped off. Oh, ow! Karate chopped me. There we go. Ugh. Ouch. There we go. Boom. Quick release, get out of here. Young and dumb. There's a big Goliath grouper. Oh, come on. Oh, he sees it. Smells it. Bouncing on his nose, oh, chomped it. Oh yeah, baby, it's on. Oh yeah, it's on. I hope that didn't spook him. Yep, he's sitting underneath that tree there. <laughs> it's almost like it's not even fair. Stay there, buddy. Don't leave yet. There's more coming. I'm pretty sure he's still... I don't think he swam off yet. Oh, yep, he's still there. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. I'm going to put a couple of them on there. And he's going to kick my butt with this 10 pound rod. Look at him. Oh, get it, eat it. Go on, bam. Oh, I need to tighten that drag. Oh, he already ate it. Dang it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that popped my bill. No, 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 no. Oh, stay under there. Oh, oh, he's got me underneath it. Uh, uh, oh, I can feel it rubbing. Uh, oh, he's right here. Oh, just stay underneath. Stay down. Oh, I think it got me in these branches here. Oh, he's got me bad. He's got me bad. Oh, he's right there. Come back over the branch. There you go. Come back over. Oh, I got him over. I got him over. Oh, I got him over. Oh, I broke him right there. Dang it. Oh. Dang, I felt it rubbing. 
Yeah, what are you gonna do with 20 pound leader? Dang it. <laughs> oh. Coolio. All right, there's a big old massive school of them right here. I wanna feed them, but I don't wanna throw it right on them. Huh, they're not eating them. They're very suspicious. Oh, that's too close. Ooh, that's not a, that's not a tarp in there. Is it? Nope, that's a snook. Uh, that one was a snook. Oh, now they're eating here. Oh, ooh, he ate, <laughs> bit my jig. Oh, see if he eats it. Oh, he's coming for it. Oh, go oh, on, dang it. Man, he wanted it. Oh, that one got it. There we go. That's on the uh, bucktail jig. Man, he was like, mine, mine, mine. Oh, I want that snook. I want my jig back though, really. Oh. All right, there's a snook there, and then a redfish just went by. Oh my gosh. The snook and a redfish. Oh, oh, sorry. Not paying attention. Oh no, I knocked his ass out. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you? Just give me my jig back. I want to catch the snook. I don't want you. I swear, I don't want you. Be gentle. Don't bite. Gentle, gentle. Gentle, gentle. Easy, easy. Easy. Gosh dang it. Dang it. Oh, I got that snook there. Get out of here. All right, where's that snook at? Oh, where'd they all go? There's a redfish and a snook. Snook right there. Oh, he got it. He's got it. Oh, no drag. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. No. Get him out. Come on. Oh no, no, no! I didn't have my drag set! Dang it! Whoa! No! No, no, no! No! Oh! Dang it! I didn't have my drag set. I loosened it when I was getting that tarpon released. Oh god, I thought I had him out too. Ah, and that was my bucktail jig. Ah, dang it. Oh god. My last fluke. Oh no. There's tarpon all over it. Oh, that snook broke my heart. I really feel sick right now. There's a redfish around here too. Snook or redfish? I don't want any more tarpon. Snook, redfish, snook, redfish. Oh, he came for it. Oh, he got it, he got it. Oh, he missed it. 
Dang it. There we go. There we go. Redfish. <laughs> Bucktail jig. <laughs> I knew I saw you. There's his buddy right there. Ah. Oh, now I can focus on my evil snook. A lot of time all this vibration will bring him out. Yeah, the um the bucktail jig is just so perfect for these redfish cuz they're they're crab eaters and then this kind of shallow. And that thing is just so close to a Oh, there's the other redfish. He's wondering what's going on. All right, I'll land you. I'll let you go, buddy. Yeah, there he is right there. Oh, greedy Steve. Greedy Steve. Where'd he go? Greedy Steve. Greedy, greedy Steve. Oh. Dang it. Too slow. All right. Um, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Oh. How'd you miss it? Come back. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, he got it. He got it. Double. <laughs> Double. <laughs> <laughs> Screedy Steve rolls. Uh. Uh. Oh, there's my snook. There's my snook. Uh. Greedy Sneeve got the crab lure on a fly. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, this is not functional. Oh, 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 no. Oh, godly. Uh, nope, we get you out of there. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Hey, I want to let your buddy go. He's not looking healthy. Uh, bam! Double greedy Steve! <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. All right. I want this jig back because it is my bucktail. It's very important to me. All right. There you go. All right. And you have my last fluke. So. Uh, uh, uh. So I want that back. My last fluke. Drumming. Ah, there we go. And the blue tail. Steve! <laughs> there. Oh. Oh. It's right here. Oh, he got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the bucktail. It's just awesome. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no! Whoa, whoa. You better come over here, buddy. We gotta get you out of here. No, no, stop screwing around. That dude is fired up. Come here, come here, come here. Sorry about that, but Mr. Angry Shark. Ugh. <sighs>
the bucktail jig is a killer. Nice pretty one there. They are just eating it up. Oh, I mean, it's just like crab. All about the bait.com. Alrighty, I am good to go. I've caught enough where I don't want to catch anymore. Uh, super fun day, but uh, another perfect example of the importance of that prospecting, especially if it's a new area. Um, if I just got to the island and it looked fishy, I could have spent the whole day on just one side, just blank casting, and never made it around to this area. Uh, but the way I did it is I just forced myself go. I found pilchard spots, mullet spots, snapper spots. Uh, came around, found those tarpon. I was like, okay. So got a plan, went back. I knew exactly where the pilchards were, netted those, came right back, started feeding them, catching those tarpon. And then action breeds action. And then the snook, the redfish starts showing up, that uh, goliath grouper. So it just all falls into place. But I could have missed all of that, like I said, if I would have just started fishing where I first ran into the island and just kind of slowly made my way around blind casting, I would have never known any of it. But now I know, I know generally where the bait is. I know where this fish are gonna be. Um, as the tide's lowering, uh, that's forcing those fish out of those deep back areas. And then it's forcing them to run along these edges. And I think this side is kind of their preference because it's facing the, uh, the channel. So when it gets super skinny, they just go out to the channel, wait it out till the water comes up and then they can go back in. But yeah, worked out perfect, uh, catching doubles even. <laughs> so uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.